Hi, this is Nancy McClelland and I want to share another card with you today that I made using the Pastel Strokes Washi Tape from the all to new September Washi Tape 2018 release. This is like two and a quarter inches wide and I was playing with this one for another card today and this is just really pretty. It, it could be used for so many things. It's got the pastel colors. You could use it for babies, birthdays. I chose to use it in a floral way today. I have all these flowers here that I just placed the washi tape on some cardstock. And you can see there's a couple of areas that I did some die cut. So I have several pieces of washi on the cardstock. Then I chose my die cuts from the Peony Blossoms die set out of the Build-A-Flower. And I chose three different ones in the sizes and I cut out various flowers. I also chose to cut out this little, the little sentiment, the sentiment, the center, excuse me, star kind of shape. And then I did the leaves in a, just a, another solid green. So I have all my pieces parts here that I've die cut out and I'm going to layer them. And then I have this cover die, which is the striped leaf cover die that I'm going to use and I've pre-cut that and then I decided that I would do a back panel and I would do the spraying so that it was already done. I used the frayed leaf ink spray. I wanted that to dry so I just used that and sprayed the front of my card so it was ready to go. So you just get a really kind of a real splatter pattern and I'm going to layer the cover die on top of that. So some of that green will show through and gives us just a little bit of texture and a little more uh, interest on the background. So I have all of these flowers that are die cut and then I also have a sentiment that I chose and I did that sentiment out of Secura Blossoms. So I went ahead and already stamped up a sentiment for that too. So I basically got all my little pieces parts together to put the card together and I typically take and you know lay things out and and kind of play with it with a layout and I do know that I want to place this uh, cover panel on top of my sprayed background so I'm using a liquid glue I use the collage medium I like that a lot. There are many good glues you can use. You could place one of the like stick it or the adhesive back sheets on this before you die cut. I've also used spray adhesive on things like this that are a little more delicate at times. Um, I do like using the liquid because when you use a liquid you can get a little bit of play with placing that panel on the front. It allows you to move it around and make sure that you have it in the right spot where if I have a piece of adhesive back or a spray I might not get that movability. So then I place it under my silicone mat just something with a little bit of weight so that it doesn't move and it dries. I am laid out all my flowers and I have them in different colors. So I do want to put them together. Uh, I want to um, make a sandwich in a flower layer. But I've got these laid out and I want to make sure that I'm getting a good variety of colors with them. Uh, I don't want to lay the two together that are totally alike. And if you look at these, there is a definite pattern. There's a little notch. I just find one petal that I like and I make sure that I'm laying them the same way. I think it looks better that way. So I'm just laying them out, making sure that I have a good like color variance in them, putting the different sizes together. So I'll take two of my sets and I'll put two flowers and the, then the last one I'll put the three layers of flowers together. 
So I have them laid out. I've decided how I want them to go. So now I just need to put some adhesive on the back and I just put a little dot in the center. Um, the petals all don't have to be layered, you know, together and, and it, with adhesive. It gives them a little more of a um, dimension that way. So I have those. They're going to dry really fast and I've pulled out my back card front and I need to again lay these out to you know, decide how I want them to look. So a pleasing arrangement is how I want to do this and just lay them out and and play with it and see and then I can glue them on. I think it looks a little better to have them a little heavier at the bottom. So that's what I've done, laying them, turning them around so the flowers have a little interest and they all, you know, all don't look the same. Now I have my sentiment there. I did two sentiments. I had some leftover paper that was sprayed and I thought, well, I'll just stamp it twice. And I really decided that it was just too busy to use the one that was sprayed. I used just a memory box oval die to cut that out so you could choose any shape that you wanted at that point. Now I have all these leaves and I'm going to put the leaves in there. On the, that particular die, I did cut both of the sets of leaves. There's, uh, they're a little different size and then they, they go opposite directions. As I would say, the leaves kind of point a little different direction. So I cut several of them. I can take whatever I don't use and I'll just leave it. I have a little bowl of odd types of embellishment things like this that I keep on my desk. That way they're done and I can use them from time to time. So again, I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on these petals. I haven't glued all the way to the edges. Um, again, that will again allow for some definition and dimension on those flowers. And it also allows some space for me to tuck the um, leaves back underneath there. So as I put them, I can tuck the leaves underneath there. Uh, you can see I'm having some difficulties picking these up, so I pick up a jewel picker, and that way it's just going to help me pick them up and I can move them. And I'm just going to put them, you know, again, in a nice arrangement. Um, some people may have this totally laid out in their head. I am not one that will draw up a total diagram of what I want to do in a card layout. A lot of mine just, I kind of, I have an idea, but then I have to play with a few of the odd things uh, as I get them in there. So I'm just tucking those leaves in there. They, they have not been stamped. Um, they're just a plain cardstock leaf. You could, you know, do a little bit of bend if you wanted to on them. Uh, you could go ahead and stamp something in there. I, I really wanted those leaves to be... Um, not the focal point. I just kind of wanted them to have a little bit of greenery. So I just used plain cardstock on these. I thought it would look a lot better. So now I need to put my sentiment on. And I think the sentiment needs to have a little bit of dimension on its own. So I'm going to use some foam tape. And just place an ample amount of foam tape. I have one strip that I've placed on there to go across and then a little bit more on the oval. Um, I don't want that sentiment to have any bend to it and it push down or get damaged in the mail if I mail this card. So I know that it needs to go up in that upper right hand corner and I will just adhere that up there with my foam tape. And it's looking pretty good as we're going here. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Now I have these little star-like centers of the flowers. And I just used some uh, scrap of pretty heavy weight uh, cardstock that's just in a neutral color. Again, I thought that that would keep the card um, just relatively simple and let these flowers in this washi tape really shine. Now I also have these candy dots from the Reflections Kit of Alt to New and I know that I can use those. So I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive down and pop in my um, my, my little star centers. Again if all else fails I pick up the tweezers. 
you find different things that you can use. So I'm just going to put these down. There are two sizes and I chose to use the two smaller ones and then one larger one for that three stack of flowers that I have. I love the candy dots uh, that we have from Altenew. So I have that sheet. I like the fact that when you have things like that that are on adhesive, I tend to take it on acetate and I can hover it over the flower and go, okay, what color do I do I really want there? So I think the color they needs to have, the card needs to have a little bit of color. I've chosen uh, to use some of the pinks and the purples and I think it'll add a little more life to the card. So I have a purple one and I'm picking out two different tones of the pink. You know, I don't think the blue and the yellow or the green look as good. So I'm just going to choose a couple of different sizes and put those flowers, put the centers in the flowers. This card came together really fast. Uh, it was simple to do and again you could take flowers like this and cut them and have a whole bowl of different things like that. So I think this is a fun easy type of card. Uh, I enjoyed putting this together. As I said this washi tape is so cool. If you didn't watch my other video I have another one that has a birthday card so you'll have to go back and catch that one. But thanks for joining me today, and I hope you enjoyed me putting this card together and you pick up some washi tape. It's been a lot of fun, and it's a great, great thing to do. Mm -hmm.